So it's back to this thick plywood again. And the next task is to make a disc in the plywood ever so slightly smaller than this steel disc that we've originally made and just shy of where the camber starts to make the flanging easier for the copper. So I'll scribe that now in the plywood, ready for cutting out. So I'm still using the dividers. And the pen to emphasize where the groove is to make it easier to see the mark the nib of the pen is actually sat in the groove then I'll get this cut out now again with the jigsaw as per I did with this plate hill here so I'll cut this disc out and then I'll get back to you So that's the second wooden disc cut out now. And that will go on this side of the sandwich eventually. So the next task now is to take this across to the sanding machine and just sand this circle down to the line here. This one is nowhere near as critical as this one here because it won't be used to actually form anything round it's just on there to stop the plate bending as I try to form it round this area here so I'm just checking the squareness of this sanding disc to this plate that I'm going to lay this disc on and then I'm going to rotate this disc and hopefully sand down to this line that I've got here with this sanding medium that's on there so everything's running clear this is just a bit of insulation tape i one time put on to avoid this aluminium spoiling the finish of the work that i had on here I'm only using this section of the wheel and not that one because this section of the wheel will be forcing the work down against the table but as the disc comes round this side of the wheel will be tending to lift the work off the table and throw it into the air. So we're certainly getting down towards the mark now. As we can see, it's doing a good job of doing a square edge, nice and smooth. So now I've completed the smoke box tube plate former, I suppose we'd better have a look at some copper and find the piece of copper that we need. So here's my assortment of copper and materials that I've purchased for this boiler build. These are the tubes etc for down the boiler, superheater flues, part and parcel of the foundation ring, 
the bracket to hold it so it can expand when it gets hot alongside the frames these are the plates to make the outer wrapper here and the back head plates for the boiler etc these are the parts that will go across the top of the firebox forming the crown stays or the girder stay I've itemised all the pieces with a piece of insulation tape and written on them what each of the items are for easy and quick finding as I go through the build all these items have been checked off from the tick list against the sheet of materials that I ordered and the conformity notification that you get with your copper when it comes to say that it's good copper and suitable for the job that you're actually using it for various phosphor bronze items for bushes another one here for the main steam bush see how we're going with all these bits I shall be going out to buy some copper rivets as per this one here because I think I'm changing my way now of actually staying the boiler but that will come on later so as with all model engineering projects there's always a bit of a shopping list to get together and get off and do some shopping so the first thing we need then is the smoke box tube plate material so let's crack on with the smoke box tube plate 